Hello! This is the third video in my build series for my VR shoes. If you're new here, I'll leave links to the other two videos in the description. In this video, I'm going to go over the progress I made this week. I printed out a bunch of the parts for this and put it together. So, let's get started. First, I printed out the parts that I needed for making the omnidirectional wheel. As you can see here, this is what it looks like. I'll show you how I built it. Here's a photo showing all the parts. Uh, one side is already assembled and it shows all the parts for the other side disassembled. Except for this one, I show that I put a bearing into um, this part here. All of these other parts here will also get bearings put into them. Then here this is showing the assembly for the part that holds the small wheels that go around the um, that go around the whole wheel, if that makes sense. So, starting from the left, you can see that there is a wheel on the bottom, and then you just slide the flat piece. I, I called it an arm, so you just slide the arm on, and then go into the one second from the left. You can see that there is a spacer here that has been um, slid onto the bolt. And then after that, you put the other half of the wheel on. This spacer makes it so that this wheel is not rubbing on the flat part here. And then uh, also I didn't show, but there is a spacer for the wheel on the other side as well. And then you just put a, uh, a nut on the other on the bolt to keep everything in place. This is a nylock nut. And then once you get each of the arms assembled, they go on to the flat part here as shown. So you can see the assembled one, how each of these just um, goes on. And then there are the, these holes here for screwing them into place. And these bigger holes here are also used for holding them in place as well. Um, I just use bigger, bigger screws here to help add a bit of support. And then here are the two halves completed. And then here's the two halves and the sprocket that will go on one side. And then all the bolts that will hold everything together. So in this photo I show I put a long bolt through one of the halves and the sprocket as shown. Uh, just easy to do it on a drill press because I could use a hammer to pound it through. And then here I show putting the two halves together again on the drill press just showing um, that it, how these things go together. And here it is, pounded together. And then another showing how it looks. And then there are four additional bolts that are um, pounded through. They, the, this bolt starts here and then goes through the two um, flat parts here into, some, into the arms to reinforce them. And that is the wheel assembled. You can see here that they, um, the bolts extend out a little bit. I didn't make the holes in the arms quite long enough, so I ended up disassembling this thing and drilling it out a little bit more. For the other Omni wheel, I fixed that and um, it's not an issue now. The design is updated. Okay, so that is what the Omni wheel looks like again. And that's how it was assembled. Next, after I assembled one of the omnidirectional wheels, I started 3D printing and CNC in the plates. By plates, I mean these flat parts here. So this part was CNC'd, and then this part was 3D printed, and this part was 3D printed, and this part was 3D printed. And then you can see here, there are some spacers here 
I also 3D printed those and put those in my design because I wasn't sure if the wheel was at the correct height. You can see here that it barely touches the ground. I thought maybe it would have to go a little lower so that it makes more contact with the ground, but I wasn't sure how much. So I have these spacers here that I could easily take one or two or three of them out to lower the wheel so that it has more contact with the ground. Here's what it ended up looking like after I 3D printed out all the parts and CNC at the platform. You can see that the omnidirectional wheel will be driven by the motor via the chain and sprockets. The ball transfer units I also screwed in there. Can go forward and back. And then it will also go left and right. And that's what it looks like the first half. Now I need to make the other half, which I have most of the parts already 3D printed and ready to go. Here's what it looks like after assembling the other, uh, other drive, is what I call it. Just finishing up, screwing it all in. And then here I just start testing it out, going forward and back, left and right, to the side moving the motor to make sure that it moves the wheel and uh, it doesn't skip. Again, the goal with this thing is to be able to uh, move in any direction to while you're walking with this thing to strafe, to walk side to side, forward and back at different angles. I want it to be able to support any direction. Here's a close-up of what it looks like. The next step is to take the speed controls I have. They're called VEX, V-E-S-C, and I have cases that they go in, and then those cases will just attach to the platform, and I will connect the VEX to the motors, and then power them up, and test this thing out. So, if you watched this far, thank you. If you have any comments or questions, let me know. And I'll see you next time.